So you might be trying to figure out how you can get the iOS font on your Android device. Now, doing this is actually pretty basic. It doesn't really take too much time, but to get started, you're going to want a couple of things. One, you want to download the Z font application. So it's a little bit of a mouthful. This is what the app looks like. It's called Z font. And what you can do, it's called Z font three. You can download this particular application. Now, once you have this downloaded, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to download an OTF file or TTF file. You can basically just go on Google and just look up San Francisco font TTF or OTF, depending on which one you're going to do. It's the same thing. So this GitHub link should go ahead and show up right here. What you want to do is you want to click on the entire collection of San Francisco, whatever. And the San Francisco font is the one that, you know, iOS is kind of built off of. And now when you're here, you can go ahead and download really any of these files that look good to you. These may change in the future. But for now, we'll just go and click on the first one or the second one or whatever, it doesn't matter. And you will see this font come up. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to click on the three dots that are right there and you want to download this particular file. So you can download it wherever you want to. So in this case, we'll download it here. And when this file is downloaded, you can go and click open and it should automatically open in that Z font application. So you can see it automatically opened it up in this particular app. And now this ad is being annoying. So I'm just going to wait for it. And then when you go and go through it, this particular app is going to show you this. And then we'll show you the font of what it looks like. This looks like the bold one. So now what you can do on your Android phone, you can go and click on apply. And it's going to say, notice you are attempting to apply the open type font. You can go and click convert. I guess that's what we're going to have to do. And then it says, I guess we're going to have to download this one. So let's go and download this now. It doesn't end with these amount of files we had to download. So now once this is downloaded, we can go back into here. Let me just click apply. I'm going to click convert and it will open up this other application for me. So now it's going to convert it off for me automatically. And then after it's going to be giving me the instructions on exactly how to go ahead and install this particular font. So it's saved successfully. Now we can go and click here, open with, and we can just go back into here, have another ad. And then once again, we can go and click apply right here and we can choose our particular Android version. In this case, we'll just do auto. We can click build and this will go ahead and give us the instructions that we need to follow to install this font. So go through these particular instructions that you know, will tell you and see so you want to install Samsung Sense, you want to you know, change the font style to Samsung Sense, and then you want to go through these particular instructions. The reason I don't go through these is because they are different per phone out there. So don't follow these particular instructions on my screen unless you have a Samsung phone. You want to go through the ones that are particularly built for your particular Android device. And then after that, following those instructions, you should be able to see that your Android phone now has the iOS font. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.